Hey everybody, have an unboxing today. This is the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3. So I'm very excited to try this phone out because this is a slider phone. Oh, that feels so good. I know Huawei, aka Honor, will have a slider phone out too. In, and I'm going to get my hands on that in a few days actually, but technically Xiaomi beat them to it. Ooh. And uh, yeah, every package of the Mi Mix 3 comes with a wireless charger. So that's a really good deal considering the cheapest variant of the Mi Mix 3, the one with six gigs of RAM, sells for 3,299 RMB, which is about 400 US dollars. So that's for the lowest variant, six gigs of RAM. Of course, the phone goes all the way up to 10 gig RAM. Um, the Palace Edition, I think that one sells for 3,999 RMB, which is about like 500 bucks. So you have charging brick, USB-C cable, the 10 watt wireless charger. And um, that is it, pretty nice packaging. So let's get to my favorite part. So I have here the emerald color. This is, um, so I have here the green color in Chinese, they call it Fei Choi, which is like jade. So this is more like a jade color. There's also, the phone also comes in black and blue. Well, there's one more peeling right here. Oh yeah. Oh, it feels so good. So it snaps into place via magnet, so it feels very nice. Anyway, I'm gonna set up the phone, I'll be back. Okay, I almost missed this part. There's actually something inside this box too. So you have a dongle, USB-C to 3.5 port because there is no headphone jack. There's a SIM ejector tool and a case. Oh, and some papers. So we'll see how the case fits. I think it just fits, it snaps on over the back of the phone. Yeah, it's just like that. All right guys, I'm back. So um, apologies for the lighting. I'm in my hotel room right now and it's already dark outside. So there's just no place for me to grab better lighting. So the sliding part of this phone is really awesome. So as you can see, it's very fast. It's very responsive. As soon as I slide down, the camera app opens. As soon as I close this, the camera app closes. So overall, the construction is very nice. This is a ceramic back, a really strong curves on both sides of the back, left and right, and a subtle curve at the top and bottom. So it's a phone that feels very nice in the hand. Feels very similar to the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Well, a um, little bit similar because Huawei Mate 20 Pro is actually more curved, so um, it's still a little bit smoother in the hand. But you're looking at the front, they look very similar. 6.4 inch OLED display, except the Huawei device has a giant notch, obviously. So now let's look at this, uh, I guess this is called bezel. So here you have obviously an earpiece right here, and then you have a proximity sensor, and then you have two selfie cameras. So one of them, it's a 24 megapixel lens, and the other, it's a two megapixel depth sensor. So that's for detecting your background, the difference between your face and the background for that bokeh effect. And the 24 megapixel selfie camera should be pretty awesome in low light because it has um, 1.8 micron pixel size. So that is huge. The larger the micron pixel, the more light it can pull in. So you move to the back camera. Dual 12 megapixel cameras, one main lens, one telephoto. So very similar to the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2S setup. The main lens have, has a f1.8 aperture. So it should be pretty decent. So new this year, to the software, it's a night mode, which is very similar to Huawei's implementation. What it does is it basically uses AI to stabilize the image as you're taking a long exposure shot. Because usually, if you take a long exposure shot, you're able to pour in more light, but then the video will become, I mean, the photo will become very blurry unless you have it on a tripod. So, so far, I've tested a little bit. It works okay, but I think the Huawei um, version still pulls in more lighting. So now in terms of software, the Mi Mix 3 ships with Mi UI 10 over Android 9.0. So kudos to Xiaomi for giving us Android Pie before Samsung and LG and all these other brands have. So, um, you know, I'm, I've always been like okay with Xiaomi's Mi UI launcher. I like that it allows me to bring down notification shade by swiping down. And I think um, like these icons here look pretty nice. They, like the aesthetic overall looks nice, the notification card. You still can expand on notifications. I don't think, 
but swiping on it, you know, you can swipe on them and then just the rounded corners looks nice. So there's no app tray, but overall, it's not an offensive looking skin. I quite like it. And uh, swiping navigation, I like Xiaomi swiping navigation a lot. You swipe up to go home, swipe up and hold to bring up app tray, bring up app overview, I mean, and you swipe here like this to go back. And since we're in YouTube, we might as well do a sound test because how can I do a video without sound test? So unfortunately, there's only one speaker grill at the bottom. So you can muffle it pretty easily, but it gets pretty loud. So yeah, really, uh, pretty good speaker for a single single bottom fine speaker. So I do notice that for some games right now, um, it's not quite optimized for Xiaomi Mi Mix 3 screen. So you see right now there's a letter box on the right side and it looks a little bit awkward because on the left you have rounded corners, but on the right it's like squared corners. So I think, I'm pretty sure a, a new software update could come later will fix this. But as of now, it looks a little bit jarring. Again, I apologize for this lighting. Um, just, you know, we got the phone so late and there's just, the sun, and by the time we got the phone, the sun was already about to go down. So everyone, all the YouTubers literally ran to our hotel room to shoot this. So um, I'm going to come back with a more in-depth video with better lighting in about a day or two. But as of now, this is just a quick first look. So I really like the Mi Mix 3's build because uh, to be honest, even though I don't mind the notch, you know, nobody really wants it there. So the fact that this can do away with the notch without needing to sacrifice the selfie camera in some weird setting like down at the bottom. And then also I like that the slide down format, it seems a little bit more secure than Oppo's um, pop-up format because that is completely motorized. That re requires, that relies on a motor inside the phone to pop the thing up and down. Whereas this, I feel like I'm doing it myself. So I don't know, it just feels a little bit uh, more secure and steady and less likely to break if it's a, a mechanism that I trigger myself instead of relying on a machine inside the phone. The whole thing feels very nice, but obviously there's no waterproofing because, you know, of the sliding. And just look at how thin the panel is, the display panel. It looks stunning. So anyway, this is the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3. I'll be back with a review in... Maybe the review unit will actually be a while, so I'm probably going to get the Honor Magic 2 before I get the review unit of this. But I'll try to have another video with better lighting and more photo samples in a day or two. Thanks for watching.